Welcome to Essential Libertarianism, selected readings from Voluntarist.com. Essential Libertarianism is Voluntarism. Let's reclaim the anti-political heritage of this philosophy together. The essays and books we read in this show will bring us closer to the state-free voluntary society that we desire. Let's begin the journey. The Non-Voter's Right to Ignore the State by Herbert Spencer Originally published in 1850 in Social Statics The radicals of our day yet unwittingly profess their belief in a maxim which obviously embodies this doctrine. Do we not continually hear them quote Sir William Blackstone's assertion that no subject of England can be constrained to pay any aids or taxes, even for the defense of the realm or the support of government, but such as are imposed by his own consent or that of his representative in Parliament? And what does this mean? It means, say they, that every man should have a vote. True, but it means so much more. If there is any sense in words, it is a distinct enunciation of the very right now contended for. In affirming that a man may not be taxed unless he has directly or indirectly given his consent, it affirms that he may refuse to be so taxed, and to refuse to be taxed is to cut all connection with the state. Perhaps it will be said that this consent is not a specific, but a general one, and that the citizen is understood to have assented to everything his representative may do when he voted for him. But suppose he did not vote for him, and on the contrary did all in his power to get elected someone holding opposite views. What then? The reply will probably be that, by taking part in such an election, he tacitly agreed to abide by the decision of the majority. And how if he did not vote at all? Why, then, he cannot justly complain of any tax, seeing that he made no protest against its imposition. So, curiously enough, it seems that he gave his consent in whatever way he acted, whether he said yes, whether he said no, or whether he remained neuter. A rather awkward doctrine, this. Here stands an unfortunate citizen who is asked if he will pay money for a certain pro-offered advantage, and whether he employs the only means of expressing his refusal or does not employ it, we are told that he practically agrees, if only the number of others who agree is greater than the number of those who dissent. And thus, we are introduced to the novel principle that A's consent to a thing is not determined by what A says, but by what B may happen to say. It is for those who quote Blackstone to choose between this absurdity and the doctrine above set forth. Either his maxim implies the right to ignore the state, or it is sheer nonsense. Thank you for listening to Essential Libertarianism. You can check out the archives of all of our episodes at EssentialLibertarianism.com. And you can subscribe to future episodes on any podcatcher, including Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, and more. This has been a Pax Libertas Productions podcast.